If you are an organization that is um, place-based, is focused on you know, addressing various community needs in the state of Rhode Island, and you might be in a position where you are building your infrastructure, building your capacity, um, renovating or upgrading your facilities and need access to capital, um, we can offer short-term loans, we can offer you know, more favorable terms than traditional financing. These are loans, uh, lines of credit, uh, even equity investments, anywhere from 200000 to $2 million. Uh, so we look for organizations, but they're nonprofits, they can be for-profits, uh, or other types of agencies that can provide both a financial return and a measurable social impact. We have been long partners with the Rhode Island Foundation as the state's sole community foundation. We turn to them in a number of ways for support, and advice and sort of strategic direction. And when they introduced their impact investment initiative, we were really interested in that and thought, how could we kind of work with them? What attracted me to this model of impact is that finances are the thing around which everything else revolves. And, and ultimately, a family's financial stability is what can determine the extent to which it can succeed or how likely it is to, to fail. The Rhode Island Foundation has been funding Farm Fresh as a nonprofit since our founding in around 2004, one of the first foundations to start funding Farm Fresh. It's really beginning stuff like some farm to school, some farmers markets, and over time that relationship has grown and developed through charitable funding and professional development and learning opportunities. And so when the time came to work on this project, we really went and started really talking holistically about how we could partner all the way through. There is a three-step process to apply, a very basic application where you give us very basic information about you and your project. Um, then the staff actually pre-screens to make sure that it, that it sort of fits what the profile of the client that we're looking for, but also the project itself is creating social good. We don't want to compete with banks, uh, but um, we think, you know, with our resources, uh, we can better partner with organizations that need access to capital. It's a seven-year term, which a traditional bank really wouldn't give you that much, that many years to pay it back. And the interest rate is far less than we would have received if we had gone through a traditional lender. The majority of the portfolio is still active, uh, but there have been a few that have utilized you know, bridge loans um, that they've closed and they've been able to increase their capacity, have been able to provide the financial return and have been able to help more Rhode Islanders because of this investment. Because we're so flexible, because the foundation staff has so much experience, we can help you with that as well. We can help, you know, we can actually go to your office and figure out, you know, what, what else do we need from you? It's not just giving you a check and just letting you go. We're making sure that we're sort of working through the process with you and giving you access to consultants or expertise that we've got internally. Like everything the, the, the Rhode Island Foundation does, we are focused on uh, meeting the needs of people in Rhode Island. We are focused on the state. The way I think of it is it's, you know, it's, it's from Rhode Islanders to Rhode Islanders. Um, it really does feel nice, right? Because you're, you're helping your neighbor, frankly. The Rhode Island Foundation is looking to improve the lives of Rhode Islanders, and so are we. And, you know, I'm sure that banks maybe are as well, but, you know, we really share that purpose. And, you know, knowing that we have a mission in common and goals and values in common helps us, you know, reach a, a shared understanding of how we're going to do business together. And, I, you know, it's just a total win-win-win.